Steeler shows market explodes 30%, everything out of reach. Silver to $30. I visited my local coin shop yesterday, and my dealer told me something that left my jaw hanging open. Gold is hovering at $2,400 an ounce. That is not a shock. We're all daily, we are following the spot price for gold. But today's housing market, the other tangible asset, it is about to pop. Remember, the, for us as gold stackers, silver stackers, we want to have a tangible asset. We like to hold our wealth in our hands. The, the other option besides precious metals is often real estate. And that market is about to pop. Mortgages at 7%. Nobody can pick up a house at that rate. And this is very telling for gold. This is what my dealer was telling me. Because historically, gold and real estate have a strong correlation. The I'm going to break this down for you, and I'm going to show you, don't get too comfortable with gold at this all-time high, because it is set to collapse. Now, there are many charts you could see online, right? You just Google real estate versus gold, and you'll see many charts that follow the correlation. And typically, it's a, it's a, from, most of these charts start at, you know, they can go back 100 years, but in the past 50 years, you could really see a strong correlation the only time where there was a, a big discrepancy is when we had the fin great financial crisis, clearly, right? That was an issue with mortgages and gold shot up. But presently, they're neck and neck. Now, with these interest rates so high, n nobody's picking up a house at 7%. I mean, there's no way. And, and many of these markets are tight. These real estate markets are... You know, look at San Francisco, where the demand is really strong and there's no space to build. Look at New York City, where, again, demand is really strong. There's no more space in that area. So it's a tight market. And still, the, at, at 7%, pe people cannot go in. So that's a bubble that is set to burst. And as we see gold, this, this historic trend of gold following real estate, if real estate pops, we're going to see an impact on gold. Now, here's an article on, on Yahoo Finance. And this says, here's what a million dollars buys you in today's housing market. A million dollars for a house. This says, the article starts by saying, there was a time when the term million dollar home conjured up images of mansions in Beverly Hills or a penthouse in Manhattan. But in a housing market where the median price of a U.S. home has jumped 30% since 2020, 30% just since 2020, and it's nearly doubled since 2010. What does a cool million buy you? This is what the article, how it starts. Uh, this author immediately says, sure, you can get a six-bedroom home, but it's going to be in Cleveland. Uh, a luxury penthouse, uh, the, the author laughs and says, no, it's going to be closer to the ground. Now, this author says, we scoured real estate listings in cities around the country to see what kinds of homes you could get for a million dollars. And uh, this is what they found. They found uh, in New York City, listen to this, a single bedroom, just a one bedroom, and it's an apartment, one bedroom for a million dollars, one bedroom. It says it's a, an, an artsy one bedroom, right? This is from the listing. But on top of you spending all that money, uh, you get an artsy one bedroom, sure. It's, uh, the building was from uh, 1925, right? The classic building. You're going to be paying $1,700 a month in the maintenance fees of the apartment. So on top of your million dollars, this is what you're getting. This is the bubble. This is what's going on in real estate. And these listings, these are recent listings. This is, this is happening now, today, with a mortgage rate of 7%. Uh, and the author says, the estimated monthly payment, including the mortgage and maintenance, is... <laughs> are you ready? This is the estimated monthly payment with everything in. Nearly $7,000. And that's with a 25% down payment and a 30-year mortgage at, at 7%. 7000 a month. Oh, my gosh. That, that is... Okay, so let's get out of... New York City is typically expensive, right? Here's Florida. Tampa, Flo T Tampa Florida. Here's a uh, new construction near the water. This is a million dollars, right? And this, this uh, article says... Less than two miles from the water, it's 3,000 square feet. Right? That, that's large. There's a large home. It's five bedrooms. It's new construction. 
Uh, neighborhood amenities include a community parks, sports, right? This is everything that, that you you think is really great. Uh, the temperature is Florida temperature. It's going to be humid, so you better get used to it. And uh, the author says, uh, the estimated monthly payment, including property taxes and home insurance, this is with 20, 20% down and a 30-year mortgage rate at 7% again. For a monthly payment, you're going to be paying $6,700 a month. Nobody is able to do this. Nobody, this is a bubble. Nobody's able to do this. 6700 That's in Florida. And uh, it, typically, people move from New York City down to Florida. That's like the, It was supposed to be the way to retire or to, or to just live in a, in a nicer area that is less expensive. <clears throat> Watch this one. <laughs> this, is, this is, again, Yahoo Finance, this article. This is Alabama. I mean, come on, you would think a million dollars, Alabama. This is a historic home in Birmingham, Alabama for a million dollars. And <laughs> the article says it's nearly 4,000 square feet, right? Very large. Uh, University of Alabama, of, of Alabama at, Birmingham, at Birmingham. This is like a very uh, hot area that, that people want to live in. The estimated monthly payment, this is in Alabama, 20% down, 30-year mortgage at 7%. You're going to be paying six thousand three hundred dollars a month. Who, who is living in in that area that can afford six thousand three hundred a month? So, <clears throat> this bubble is as we've seen this past week with another pivot that the Fed is showing us. Chances are are that we are not getting any rate cuts this year. Maybe if we're lucky, one in December. If we if we're lucky, these rates are going to remain high. And no, nobody can afford this. Nobody's going to go in. So looking historically at the correlation between this gold that I'm showing you here, right? Well, maybe not this one, because this is a proof. This is actually a gorgeous proof buffalo that comes with a, a high premium. <laughs> but here is some generic gold. I don't mind touching it with my hands. Right? This The correlation between the housing market and this gold is showing us that historically... If something, you know, when the when the housing market crashes, a gold is soon to follow. And when the housing market has a nice boom, gold is soon to follow. So if we are truly going to see a pop in this bubble of the housing market here in the States, gold will be soon to follow. And it, as we're all very excited to see gold at 2400 and, and we're all dreaming and hoping it for 2500 right? You think about it four weeks ago. No, no one really thought we would get to 2400 So <clears throat> if 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 you're, you're feeling like we're going to 2500 here's a sign. Here's a big clue that tells us, mm, don't get too comfortable because the chances are we're going to see a big drop. We're going to see a big drop in housing. And, we're, and just as, think of it this way, just as silver always follows gold, this is a similar scenario where housing drops and gold is soon to follow.